As the trade deadline gets closer and closer, there is one buzzer beater move that the Mets could make. And in this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why the New York Mets should make this move. And that move, as you can tell by the title, is to acquire Cubs shortstop Javier Baez. If you like this video doing a hypothetical and just an overview of a certain player, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. What are your thoughts on Javier Baez and what kind of fit do you think he could be for the Mets? Is he someone the Mets should pursue as a buzzer beater last minute deal for the trade deadline? And if you want to make me feel better after the Dodgers absolutely just put a dagger in all Mets fans hard getting Scherzer and Trey Turner, you could subscribe. That would make me feel slightly better. So let's get right into it. Javi Baez, he is having a down year still. He wasn't great in 2020, and this is not the best version of Javi Baez either. It's far from it that we've seen in 2021. Even with that being said, Javi Baez still has 22 home runs. A 245 average is not great, but it's better than some of the other Mets right now. And again, that is not Javi Baez's standards. We know his on-base percentage isn't great because he doesn't walk. He either hits a home run or not too much else. And his metrics don't blow you away, but when Javi Baez hits it, he hits it hard. And he has a max exit velocity in the 99th percentile. Javi Baez has the kind of power when he gets into one, he could really crush it. And that could add for some really nice power for the Mets. So let's get into the top 10 reasons why the New York Mets should get him. And before all of you people in the comments say, well, I can give you one reason they shouldn't get him. He strikes out a lot. <laughs> well, while Javi Baez has struck out a lot this season, I'm not good to deny that. He's a guy that has struck out plenty in his career. He is having a much better month of July and his strikeouts are down. In April, May, and June, Javi Baez's strikeouts were in the high 30s. In the month of July, they were in the low 20s, which still isn't great, but it's an improvement. And Javi Baez batted over 300 for the month of July. So as of right now, he is swinging a hot bat. The next reason that Javi Baez makes a lot of sense for the New York Mets is the Francisco Lindor injury. Now going into the season, if you could say where could the Mets upgrade, shortstop would not be the position because you have Lindor there. But with him out, the Mets definitely could use someone to fill in. Jonathan VR, he's helped the Mets out. Luis Guillaume is a player I like a lot, but I would feel a lot more comfortable with Javi Baez as the everyday shortstop, both offensively and defensively, and other areas that we're going to get to compared to Guillaume and VR. And one of the reasons for that, this is reason number three, is the kind of defense that Javi Baez provides. Javi Baez has won a gold glove before, and he always makes a lot of highlight plays at shortstop. He has pretty good range, even though his outs above average don't show it. He has a very strong arm, and he's just a very heads-up defender. We know Lindor plays great defense, so you still would get that great defense with Javi Baez filling in for the time being. The next reason I like Javi Baez as a fit for the Mets is what have the Mets struggled the most with offensively? Hitting left-handed pitching and hitting with runners in scoring position. These are areas that Javi Baez does as well as he's batting 301 against left-handed pitching and he's batting 279 with runners in scoring position. Not amazing, but definitely a lot better than some of the other Mets on this current team. The other way that Javi Baez would help out the Mets offense is the fact that he's right-handed, so he would provide some balance for guys like Jeff McNeil and Dom Smith. The next thing that Javi Baez brings to the Mets that Lindor also has that really could help this team is his speed. Javi Baez does have very good sprint speed and he can steal bases. Javi Baez has 13 steals this year and he's only been caught twice. Not that the Mets are going to send him because they never send any of their base runners, but Javi Baez could provide that speed on him. If they actually send him, he could put some pressure on pitchers, maybe make them make a mistake to Michael Conforto or any hitter batting behind Javi Baez to really add another element to this Mets offense. The next thing that Javi Baez has is leadership with his playoff experience. One of the under the radar things that Francisco Lindor had done all season that's helped the Mets so much are his timely mound visits when a pitcher is struggling. Lindor has that kind of leadership where he knows what to say to the pitcher to get them to calm down and be able to get out of a big jam. While Baez is not as good as Lindor at doing that, he still could do it because he is that kind of player where he could help out another pitcher, particularly a fellow Puerto Rican like Seth Lugo and Edwin Diaz when they're in trouble. Javi Baez goes to the mound, gets them under control and helps them get out of the inning. The seventh reason why the Mets should be targeting Javi Baez is that it should not be a high cost. Baez is on the last year of his contract and there's not going to be a lot of suitors for him. With Trevor Story as the top shortstop target, that's where teams are going to be looking and most contenders already have a good shortstop. The Red Sox have Xander Bogarts, the Padres have Fernando Tatis Jr. Obviously the Dodgers just got Trey Turner. So not too many contenders are going to be clamoring for Javi Baez, which should make the cost not very high for the 
the Mets. The next reason why I believe Javi Baez would help out the New York Mets is I believe that he could help Francisco Lindor play better. We all had much higher expectations for Francisco Lindor number-wise. We didn't think that he was going to be a 227 hitter. We felt that looking at his career numbers, Francisco Lindor is a guy that bats in the 270s, 280s, could hit you 30 home runs plus. He is not on pace to do that right now, and the injury doesn't help. But I believe that a lot of Francisco Lindor's struggles have been mental because the talent is there. We've seen Francisco Lindor have multi-home run games. We've seen him have four hits in one game. We've seen Francisco Lindor have quality at-bats, but he just doesn't have the consistency. Javi Baez and Francisco Lindor are very close friends. And again, that Puerto Rican connection is something that it doesn't show up in the stats, but it really could help Lindor mentally to get where he needs to be and be the best version of himself. And I believe vice versa. Like I said, Javi Baez is not playing this year the way he has in previous seasons. And maybe Francisco Lindor can help Javi Baez get back Back to his MVP caliber self. And that's the next reason I want to go to. The fact that people forget Javi Baez was a good player. This is a guy that was a runner-up to an MVP to Christian Yelich a few years ago. And the year after that had another really good season. I mean, this is a guy who's one of the better players in all of the National League. Until he had the down year in 2020. And 2021 has not been his best year, obviously. And the 10th reason why Javi Baez makes sense is his versatility. Javi Baez, like I said, he could play a really good shortstop. He could play a very good second base. I believe that if Francisco Lindor comes back and you have to move Javi to third because I like Jeff McNeil a second. I bet you Javi Baez could play a really good third base. And in his career, he's even played some center field. So I've given you 10 reasons, but a couple more reasons why Javi Baez would be a nice player to add to your team. And one of them is I call the Mago effect. Javi Baez's nickname is El Mago, the magician. And it's just because Javi Baez does these plays that maybe only Javi Baez can make. Whether that's in the field, whether that's on the bases, Javi Baez just has that effect on where he makes this play that's like, wow, what a heads up play. What a high baseball IQ play. When the Pirates had that horrible play with the runner getting caught up and they have the guy score on a routine ground ball, who was the guy that hit that ground ball? Javi Baez, because he turned around and ran to home plate, something that no player would ever do, but it ended up giving the Cubs a run. Not saying he's going to do that again, but he's just that kind of heads-up player where, you know, he'll, he'll steal home, you know, he'll be have a great dirt ball read, and he'll be flying around the bases or just do something in the field. The great tags that he makes when a catcher throws him the ball, the Mago effect, he's going to make these plays that's like, who would have thought of doing something like that? Only Javi would. And the other reason why Javi Baez would be a good fit for the Mets is that if he does well, this is a guy that you could sign long term because Javi Baez said this week that he would love to play with Francisco Lindor and he would be willing to not play shortstop. He said second base, but again, I hope it's third base in order to play with Francisco Lindor. We know JT Romuto did not want to be a Met. Max Scherzer obviously didn't want to be a Met. And plenty of other players throughout all of Major League Baseball, Brad Hand comes to mind, don't want to be Mets. So the fact that somebody like Javi Baez has made it clear that he has interest in the Mets, that means he is a guy you could sign long term if he does well, if you acquire him. So those are my reasons why Javi Baez makes sense. We know Sandy Olsen likes to wait until the very last minute. And if the cost is low at the very last minute, Javi Baez can help you in a lot of different ways at a low cost. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And again, comment down below what do you think about Javi Baez and a potential fit on the New York Mets. And until the next one, which is a stream tomorrow at 12 o'clock Eastern time on this channel, Frank About Sports, a trade deadline stream as we're going to watch as the day progresses. What if the Mets make some moves, which we believe they will, and the rest of the moves going on around baseball. We'll have a special guest. iTalk Studios will join us and the normal Mets weekly crew. So until then, be safe, be smart, be healthy, and let's go Mets. Give me Javi Baez.